Okay, what we have here is a 1966, 1967 model year 727 Chrysler transmission. It is out of a 67 Chrysler Newport. What we're going to do is put a shift kit into it, and I'm just going to videotape the process. It's a little bit hard to do with myself, but um, I think my buddy Rick's going to come over and we're going to do some videotaping with him helping me. Um, I figured I'd kick this video off. Got the transmission on a bench. Um, it's I already washed this transmission down once already and got all the grime off of it. This shift kit can be installed while this is in your car, so you don't have to take this out. Um, but since I already had this out, it's just easier to do it and it's easier to film it this way. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, get this transmission rolled over, get the pan off, and all we're really doing is taking the valve body out, reprogramming the valve body for the directions, <clears throat> and reassembling the transmission. I'm also going to do a couple little things. Um, there's a shaft that usually leaks on the back side. I'm going to pull that shaft out for the rear servo band uh, and reseal that so I don't have any issues with that. Uh, the other thing is that's going to require taking off the tail shaft, so we'll give a little how to remove your tail shaft. Um, so I already went ahead, like I said, I cleaned this transmission up uh, just to get most of the grime off of it. I went ahead and took all the shift linkage and the kick down linkage off of it, also took the dipstick tube out. So what I'm going to do is roll it over, take off the pan. I already drained most of the fluid, but there will be some fluid left in the pan and in the valve body, so it will run all over the place. So. Doing this, you'll have to get some rags and just be prepared for a lot of, a lot of transmission fluid. And as you can see, the hemorrhaging is already starting with the fluid. We're gonna get this pan taken. Since we're also going to take the tail shaft off, I'm going to go ahead and take the speedometer gear out and we're going to get the transmission cross member transmission mount and get that off of there too. Okay, we're going to take the valve body off. There's 10 7 16 bolts, three on the front, three on the rear, and four around the accumulator. So we'll just start breaking those free.
since these bolts don't really need to be re-cleaned, I'm just going to put them in a Ziploc bag to keep any debris off of them. I'm also going to take the filter off right now because we're we'll putting a new one on. There's going to be an accumulator spring, and we'll just slide this belt body out, catch the spring, we'll set the spring aside, and pull the accumulator out.